I ate some zucchini bread, I ate a candy bar, I waited a half hour, triple blood. So I was at 88. So I was like, okay, I'm starting to feel better, right? So I started to feel better, I was 88. So I was like, okay, I'll give it about another half hour. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today is... I don't even know what today is. Let me check. Hold on, guys. Uh, we're here. It is a Tuesday. Man, Tuesday, that's it. It feels like it's way later in the week. But as you can tell, the sun is already setting as I'm starting to vlog because I forgot to start a vlog again today because I have more important... Well, I wouldn't say more important stuff because YouTube is very important to me because I, it's just kind of like a hobby, but I love doing it. So I try to do it, but some days I just forget and it's just, yeah, one of them things. And I got super late today because I was really tired over the last couple days and I was sore, so I guess I had to sleep it off or recuperate... But, today I got another problem, we'll get in that in a minute. So, anyways guys, let's get this day started. I will come back in a few minutes. Alright guys, I ran into a bit of predicament about, well today, uh, my, I was exercising before, I, I met the vlog beforehand, which is probably why I didn't remember, because eventually my sugar was low all day, because my sugar was super high this morning, so I took a bunch of insulin to bring it down, because I was like 300 and almost 400 this morning. So I took, a, well not a bunch of insulin, but I took more than what I usually do. And I thought it'd come down to be fine. So, I started exercising after I ate breakfast and stuff and I was exercising for about 40 minutes and I usually go for an hour on a treadmill so about 40 minutes and I start feeling bad so I stopped the triple blood because I realized hey my sugar's probably low if I should stop I don't want to pass out because that's a dangerous thing to do so I get off the treadmill right <laughs> and I check my blood and I'm 42 which is really really bad which is actually really low actually like that's like pass out well I wouldn't say like pass out zone, but if I wouldn't stop and ate something, I probably would have passed out in like five, probably about 20 minutes or, I probably would have passed out if I didn't stop and ate something, right? So stop, I eat a candy bar, which isn't the best thing to do. I should be eating something with less, like, well, it doesn't really matter because when your sugar's low, you just gotta eat something like, most people say juice, but I don't really like apple juice too much, or orange juice, and there's still carbs in it anyways. So I just go for candy bars, which isn't the best option, but I, that's what I do. Is what my dad does, it's just what my family does. So I ate a candy bar, and I thought, hey, it'll come up in about a half hour. So I ate the candy bar. I also ate some uh, some uh, zucchini bread, which I actually did make last night, which I forgot to show you guys, because my mom brought home the stuff that I needed. So that happened. I ate zucchini bread, which usually makes my sugar super high, which is why my sugar was high this morning, because I ate some of it last night before I went to bed, which I shouldn't have, because I actually won't wear my calories yesterday. Because I was being dumb and did that. Because there's a lot of... Well, there's not a lot of calories you can eat. But I ate a bunch of it because I just can't say no to it. So, I ate some zucchini bread. I ate a candy bar. I waited a half hour. triple blood. So, I was at 88. So, it's like, okay, I'm starting to feel better. Right? So, I started to feel better. I was 88. So, it's like, okay, I'll give it about another half hour and I'll get back to exercising. Right? Well, another half hour passes. I trip my blood again. And now, I'm 70 or 60 something. So, I went lower than what I was. So, I had to eat another candy bar, which is bad. So... Huh, I had to eat another candy bar. So I ate another candy bar. Now I'm waiting for my sugar to come back up. And now I feel bad again. So I'm waiting for my sugar to come up so I can finish exercising. As you can tell, I still got a treadmill here. Like, my treadmill's out. It's like a movable treadmill we have. It's like a cheap treadmill. But it works for me because I don't got to walk outside in the hot sun and stuff when I get up late. And it's just a pain. So it's easier on me. So as soon as my sugar gets up, I will probably finish exercising. Or maybe I'll just eat first. If it's 7 o'clock almost. So maybe I'll just eat dinner first. And then I'll exercise after dinner. Sounds good to me I think like maybe I'll do that because I need to I need food anyways I mean because apparently I gotta cut back my insulin like this is this is this, 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 this is like the, the balancing act I gotta do to do to lose weight because if you're diabetic especially type 1 it's really important to keep your sugar under control at all times but if you're not eating enough calories and you cut on your carbs like I do then you got to figure out like okay like it's kind of like a test run like you have to cut your cat you have to cut your insulin right but if you cut too much then your sugar's high if you don't cut it enough then your sugar's low, which is probably worse for you than being high. Well, I mean, if your sugar's high all the time, that's really, really bad because you, you'll damage your kidneys, liver, heart disease, all that stuff, and everything else. But if your sugar's low, it can be more dangerous because it actually deprives your brain of, of energy, basically what it does. And if you deprive for too long, you'll actually pass out, which what happens. I've never been passed out before, but my sugar has been super high before, and it's really, really bad for your body. But, as I was saying... It's like a it's like a bouncing act. Like you have to take like a couple days. Like hey, let's cut. Like I use a couple of insulin too much just so I don't get low. And then once I figure out, like, hey, I'm still like 300. So I add a couple more units until I'm like right in the sweet zone. But then once you start losing weight, it changes over time. So I guess I lost more weight or more stuff. So I got to cut my insulin again and then figure out where I am now because 
sometimes your body just changes and it's just a weird balancing act like yeah it's like a weird balancing act to figure out especially when you're like losing weight because when you lose weight your body because fat's very like insulin resistant and the more fat you have in your body the harder it is for your body to actually metabolize it which is why you get type 2 diabetes and stuff like that so yeah the fun fact <laughs> but so if i actually lost a bunch of weight my insulin should come way down because right even like since i started my weight loss journey i was taking like a whole bunch of like my slow acting now i'm down to like 30 units from what i was taking to begin with and my fast acting is basically the same almost it's almost the same but like i was taking like 20 and 20 but now i'm taking like 18 in the morning which i'll probably have to cut down to like 14 and then i was taking like 20 at night now i'm down to 12 at night so yeah so it's, 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 it's a balancing act you got to figure it out as i go and then some days you'll have days like this where it's just bad which is actually like affecting my diet because i've had two kind of bad days which i'm planning to get right back on track like yesterday i ate like way too many calories because I had zucchini bread and a bunch of other stuff because, yeah, I, I ate pizza for breakfast yesterday. Well, I didn't, like, I had I had two slices of pizza yesterday, which I shouldn't have done because it was in there and I couldn't say no to it because that's my food addiction, which is why most of the time I don't have any junk food in the house, but some days I just ha I just have to do it, so, yeah. But I'm going to get back, back on track tomorrow, go cut my insulin, hopefully I don't get low tomorrow because I've actually been getting low for a couple of days now, so it's the sign I need to cut back my insulin. Not my, not my slow acting because I'm still high in the morning, so my slow acting needs to stay the same as my fast acting because after dinner, because usually after breakfast and dinner, I get kind of low. So I'm going to cut back my insulin a lot. Not a lot, but enough to where I don't get low and I can actually exercise without passing out because that's what almost happened today. Ah, makes sense? Makes sense. If anyone even, if you want to talk about, that's life. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I will cut back in a few minutes. Enough of me rambling about almost dying and stuff like that and health issues and stuff but yeah i'm making excuses but it, like honestly they're, they're pretty good excuses like i can't just not eat when my sugar's low because i'll literally pass out so i have to eat something and just life anyways guys i'll come back in a few minutes why well, guys i'm back come on jake it's getting dark we gotta put the chickens away come on jake we're not gonna walk around all the down to the field because we don't got time because i had to eat jake what is your problem really dog come on I don't got time for this, Jake. We're just gonna walk to the front yard. Come on, and then we're gonna go put the chickens away because I don't got time because it's getting dark on us. And this is when foxes are about and they'll eat the chickens, Jake. Them big old coyotes. Jake, are you coming? Come on. Jake, I promise I'll take you out more tomorrow because I'll get up earlier, I promise. At least I hope I will, who knows. I need to start getting up earlier. I need to start going to bed here. I don't go to bed till like 4.35 o'clock in the morning. And also, guys, my sugar finally came, but I have yet to exercise, which I'm going to do that as soon as I put the chickens away because uh, I just had to eat after my sugar came up because I felt like crap anyways, and I would actually get some real food in me. So I just decided to eat dinner, so I did that, and my sugar should be up now. Pretty good, actually. Leave the cats alone. Ah, Jake. Will you leave the cats alone? Come on. It's getting dark, Jake. We gotta put them away. Jake, I promise I'll walk around more tomorrow. No, Jake. We gotta actually go put the chickens away. Don't snort at me. I'll snort back at you. Ah, anyway, guys. As I was saying, uh, yeah, today's just been a whole mess of a day. My sugar got low. I couldn't do anything. I'm gonna go take my shot for dinner, and hopefully I'm going to exercise I'll probably end the vlog first because I'm not going to do anything after that. So that's exercise and that's pretty boring. So yeah. Anyway guys, let's go put the chickens away. Run Jake, run. And then I'll let you walk around a little bit more. Off the camp. Those cows are still making noise. What are they doing to the cows? <laughs> Seriously, the cows are making all kinds of noise. I have no idea what's after them. What's wrong with them? The cows from yesterday. Who knows? Hopefully we have all the chickens, because I haven't seen none of them all day. I haven't been outside any today, actually, which isn't a good thing. Come on, Jake, this way. Jake, you got to get a little bit closer. One, two, three, four, five. We got all five chickens, if I can actually film. We got to fix this chicken house a little bit, too. We need a better door. Like, a really good door, actually. Like, look at this. Look at this door. Like, it is falling apart. Because <laughs> the board got warped when we made it. Or whatever. Who knows? Who knows? It's actually not a bad chicken house. Come on, Jake. 
Jake, come on. It's actually not a bad chicken. I probably didn't need to be that big because I saw some chicken houses that hold like seven chickens. And they're not that big. They just have like an area for them to get up on. And that's about it. And then they have like a run. Which, yeah. Ready to go again, Jake? I'm sorry. I'll walk around more tomorrow, I promise. But I had to take you out too. And he usually walks over the yard. So yeah, you should be fine. But I had to take you out in a couple hours when he gets home. And we'll probably take you out again when mom gets home because I always do. And my dad will take you over to the yard like he always does every night. Right, Jake? Right. Anyway, guys. I will come back in a few minutes, and then I'm probably going to the vlog once I get, yeah. So, Hi, right, guys, I'm back. The animals are here. <clears throat> I can't talk for some reason. All right, now, now I can talk. I don't know what that was, but I lost my voice for some reason. But this cat has not been moving around hardly any. I don't know if it's sick. See, it looks like it's fine. Like, it's just not moving around much. Usually, it's up and playing. I think the big cat beats up at night or just really tired. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's been doing that. This cat over here, he finally, she finally came back because you're a girl. Right, kitty? The other one's a boy, huh? He's like, yeah. And she's like, yeah. No one sees you very much. You know that? Everyone thinks you're dead and gone and no one sees you. Heck, I don't even see you near my cat. And yeah. You go outside and you run off and don't even come around anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. My dog is mad at me. Oh, Jake, are you mad because I couldn't walk around? I'll probably walk around more tomorrow. I'll go out earlier tomorrow and I'll walk around. But today is just a weird day, Jake. I'm sorry. I'm not walking out at night or in the morning. So... Anyway, guys, like I said, this cat acts like, I don't know what's wrong with him. He just doesn't have any energy like he usually does. Usually, he's up running around and fighting everything. And the last two days, he hasn't moved. What? I'm sorry. Are you hurting him? What? Are you just hurting him? Okay, go back to sleep then. Go back to sleep. I don't think he's moved hardly into today. This cat I hardly ever see. I don't know why I'm going to talk about you. Yeah. We don't even own you. You just own us, huh? You just come and go. And you just see us as a place for food and comfort when you want to sleep, huh? That's all you see us as. Yeah. That's that's literally all that cat sees it as. It's just a place to come and sleep at night so it doesn't get ate by predators and a place to eat whenever she's hungry. And then she goes right back outside. I don't let her out at night for obvious reason because she'll get ate. But, oh, that's what I got to show you. I forgot to show you guys this. I actually did make zucchini bread. Most of it was gone now because me and my dad and my mom have been eating on it. And plus my mom took a bunch of work with her today. So I'll show you what's left. doesn't look as good now since I've made it all. But my mom did take it to her work. And people told her it was the best zucchini bread they ever had. So that's a good sign. It did kind of burn a little bit. That's because of our oven, because it's kind of a weird oven. But yeah, look at this. Uh, can you even see it? Uh, <laughs> zucchini bread. It actually does taste pretty amazing. Pretty good, actually. Not my best zucchini bread. It's kind of dry. I don't know why it's kind of dry, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I got stuff I got to do. And I just wiped my face because I'm sweating for some reason because it's hot outside. Anyway, guys, I got stuff I got to do. I got to exercise and do some other stuff and edit this video and put it out before, like, midnight so I can actually get it out tomorrow because it takes, like, 18 hours to upload a friggin' video because midnight, she's in the air there. Anyway, guys, I'll come back in a minute. I'm going to vlog. So, Hi, right, guys, I'm back. It's probably dark out here because I didn't turn on my, my, micro, my microphone. My light on my camera so I can actually film, but it looks bright enough to film, I think. Who knows? It, it probably has a really bad backdrop with the light, which is why I try to stay away from the light sometimes, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, did not do a lot today. Had a heck of a day, though, because my sugar got low. It didn't feel good all day. I couldn't exercise. Now I feel better. And that's why I'm going to exercise off camera because, yeah, because my life is a mess. And I didn't get till 2 o'clock today. And then I didn't have time to film my dad. I forgot to vlog all entirely until about 7 o'clock when I actually halfway through feeling bad. So I picked up the camera. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot to vlog. So I decided to do that. Anyways, guys, if you like today's vlog, remember to like, subscribe, click the bell. And it's my dear, Talk to you guys tomorrow.